So what we've done to these axles is we've taken our, we stuck them in our robot, we took a pen and we made little marks uh, where they were uh, where they were done being used. There's two things we could do. We could either, uh, you know, measure how much it was and if it's, you know, close to three or four or two inches, we could just grab one of the pre-packaged, pre-cut axles. But I've already got all these 12-inch axles and uh, the sizes are, on some of them are a little bit longer than come pre-made. So we're going to cut our own. So all you do is you take your shaft here, now you get a nice vise, preferably clamped to something a little more sturdy than a folding table, but this is what we got. This is where nobody minds if we make a mess. Uh, this does make a mess. It leaves metal dust everywhere. You'll also notice I have taken this off the robot because I do not want this metal dust anywhere near that robot. So we take a good trusty hacksaw, really fine metal cutting teeth on this guy. And uh, so I'm going to find my mark, and I'm going to make sure I cut it just a little longer than the mark, because there's no, there's no penalty for going a little too long. There's a big penalty for going too short. It's much harder to uh, put metal back on than it is to take it off. All right. So we're going to make sure it's nice and sturdy. We're going to brace the free end so it doesn't vibrate on us. And we're just going to slowly get it started. And once it's started... This is where you won't be able to hear me anymore. We're gonna saw the heck out of it. And just like that, we're through. Uh, it's a little jagged and it's very hot. So we're gonna file that down. And uh, there's one of our axles and then we just need nine more. So what I'm filing here is not actually the piece I need for the robot, but it's the remainder of the stock. And it's really nice to do that too, so when you're reaching into your box for extra parts, you don't slice yourself on something that you didn't bother filing off the last time you got something. And then I'm going to take my piece that I actually was interested in, clamp that up, and file it down as well. Just like cutting, uh, clamping really helps for filing, because it doesn't, uh, doesn't try and wander around on you and the actual energy goes into the metal itself.